Today we're going to talk about the upgrade path requirements for the QSYS core processor and QSYS peripherals. If you're looking to upgrade your QSYS system, there are a few important things to keep in mind. Let's dive right into it. AV Network Guy here. First, let's discuss the requirements for upgrading from version 9 releases. If you're currently using version 9.1.x or a later version, then you're in luck. Upgrading from these versions doesn't require any additional steps. You should proceed directly to the latest version without any hassle. However, if you're still on version 9.0.x, here's what you need to do. First, upgrade to version 9.1.x. Once you've successfully upgraded to 9.1.x, you can then proceed to upgrade to version 9.8.x, which is the latest version. This two-step process ensures a smooth transition to the newest version of QSYS. Now let's move on to upgrading from version 8 releases. Regardless of which version 8 release you currently have, the upgrade process is similar. Step 1. Upgrade to version 9.1.x. Once you've completed this step, you're ready to proceed to the next one. Step 2. Upgrade to version 9.8.x, the latest release. This ensures that you have all the latest features and improvements available in the QSYS system. Finally, let's discuss upgrading from version 7 releases. If you're currently using version 7.2.1, the process is as follows. Step 1. Upgrade to version 9.1.x. This will bring your system up to a compatible version for the next step. Step 2. Upgrade to version 9.8.x. By completing this step, you'll have the latest version installed and your system will be fully up to date. Now, if you're on version 7.2.0, 7.1.x, or 7.0.x, Here's what you need to do. Step 1. Upgrade to version 7.2.1. This intermediate upgrade ensures a smooth transition to the next version. Step 2. Upgrade to version 9.1.x. This will bring your system up to a compatible version for the final step. Step 3. Upgrade to version 9.8.x, which is the latest release as I'm making this video. By following these three steps, you'll have successfully upgraded your QSYS system. That wraps up our video on the upgrade path requirements for QSYS core processor and QSYS peripherals. Remember to follow the specific upgrade steps based on your current version to ensure a seamless transition. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.